All right, if you're like me, none of these themes for Hugo were really doing it for me. So I decided to create my own theme for Hugo. Or even if you like one of these themes, there's probably some customization you want to be able to do to the theme. So that's what I'm going to go over in this video. So I have this basic Hugo site. I just put a little bit of content on here already. And what I'm going to do is create my own theme. Now, Hugo doesn't really have a starter theme. If you want to create a new theme, you kind of have to do everything from scratch. So I'm used to these static site generators that have like a default template that you kind of work with from there. So I created this Hugo starter theme and this is basically the Hugo starter theme. Like it's bare bones, there's nothing to it. It's just white on black text, but it'll serve as, as a good starting point if you want to make your own theme. All right, so with the starter theme, I can show you the basics to creating a theme. So first off, uh, I'm going to copy this theme. Now you don't actually have to copy it into your themes directory if you're creating your own theme. So Hugo has this themes directory here, but if you look inside this theme that I've created, all of these folders, all of these directories are actually inside Hugo already. So the layouts is right here and the archetypes and all that this theme is basically doing, uh, it's basically importing all the files into this main Hugo directory. Now, if you want to overwrite something in the theme, let's say uh, you want to overwrite uh, a layout file, then you can do so and the uh, the layout in the root directory will take precedence over the layout in the themes directory. So if you really wanted to create a theme just for yourself, not for anybody else, you could just put all the cont you could just put all the layouts and everything in these directories right here. But since I already have a starter theme, we're gonna work with that. So let's go in CD into themes and then Hugo starter. And now inside here. I have everything in here. I just uh, copied this. If you want to get started with this as well, I'll leave a link to this in the description. But let's start off with the basics. So uh, all the theme files are going to go into the layouts directory. So let's go into there. And the first thing we're going to do is create some defaults. So I'm going to go into this uh, underscore default folder that I created. So if you're creating your theme from scratch, you'll want to start here. And so uh, let me show all the files in here. We have the list.html and the single.html. So all pages in Hugo can kind of be broken down in two categories, the single and the list. So this is a single page. This is just uh, the content. So we have a page called about, and then we have the content right here. Same with this post right here. We have the uh, post title here and the post content here. So that's the single and then the list would be uh, any of these list pages listing out uh, in this case posts or you might have uh, one for categories if you want to add some categories or any kind of post type is going to have a list right here. So these are the two basic templates right here that you're going to be using for all the pages. So let's start off with the single that's going to be describing this page right here. Let's open it up in your favorite text editor. And you can write pretty much any HTML here and it'll work correctly. I can say hello world here. Um, let's put that inside a P tag. And as you can see, you can just write basic HTML here and it'll appear on the page. Hello world. Now inside these curly brackets, uh, Hugo uses Go templates to do all the templating. So these are go template uh, variables and functions inside these curly brackets. These curly brackets are just telling it that it's a go template language. And so inside here we have uh, the title variable. So that's just going to be the title for this right here. And if you want to see all of the different variables that you have access to in each page, uh, you can see the Hugo documentation. There's this page called page variables and if we scroll down here there's one for title and it's going to be the title for this page and of course down here we have the content for the page which is pretty self-explanatory it's going to be the content that you put inside each of your pages and you can also put all of this different 
uh, all, all these different variables inside it. But just to start, we're just going to use these two basic ones. If you want to, you can also add the date right here or some other things like that. Uh, okay, so that explains these two lines. It's the title and the content. But we also have up here partials. So partials are kind of like snippets. Let's say I don't want to write the header and footer for every single page, obviously. So I'm going to put that in a partial and then for every time that I want to use this, I can just import it into my page right here. So this is basically bringing in the partial header.html and I have this in a different folder that I'll show you in a bit. And this is the partial footer.html. And so this is how you write it, partial footer.html or the path to the partial and then this dot right here. Now this dot is just, uh, it's just how you have to write it for Go templates to be happy with it. But I'm not going to do a whole video detailing uh, in depth Go templates. So just put the dot in here. So what these partials are linking to is down here, uh, we have this partials folder inside the layouts. So inside this is going to be all, all, of, all of the partials that we use. So the header and the footer from that page that I showed you are going to be in here. And if we open this up, then it's just going to be a standard HTML document right here. So we have HTML, head, the metadata, title, the CSS, and the body, and the opening tag for the main. So if we open all that up, yeah, so all this is going to be put before the content in here. So yeah, the partial. Uh, the partial tag just turned all of this into this right here. And you can also put partials inside partials. I have this partial nav.html, which I'll show you right here. And this is the header and the nav and a whole bunch of different links for the navigation. So besides the page variables, we also have site variables. So this is for the individual pages, and this is for the entire site. So let's say you wanted to get the title of the site. That's going to be, in my case, my new Hugo site. So you would put .site.title inside this. And this range right here, range is how you loop things over in Go. So this is basically saying for each, if you were thinking in JavaScript or something, this would be for each dot site dot menus dot main so every single item in uh, dot site dot menus that's another site variable right here dot site dot menus this is going to get all of the menus in the site and then we want to get this specific menu the main menu and of course you define the menus in the config file so this is getting everything that I put in my config file for my main menu and this is looping over each one and so uh, right here we're getting the URL of each one and the name of each one. Put it in here, so the posts and the about page. And then end is what you do when you want to finish the range. Okay, so that's the end of the loop. And then, of course, we can just put continue a bunch of HTML right here. Okay, and just to show you everything, the footer, we have the site title here which I've already explained. And there are also a few functions in Hugo as well. So the date format. So if you want a complete list of all the functions, Hugo has it in the documentation right here. It has a whole bunch of different functions that you can use, but specifically I'm gonna be using the date format function. And the date format just accepts uh, this layout. So I just want the year. So I just put an any year right here because I just want to return the year and then when now. So that's going to return the current year uh, right here in the bottom. And yeah, if you want to look up more functions, it's all in the Hugo documentation. Okay, so that's all the partials that I have right here. I have some more uh, Go functions and Go variables in here that's just giving a bit of logic. This long function right here or this long statement right here is basically just saying if we're on the home page 
then just say the name of the website. If we're on a spe if we're on a specific page, then let's display the name of the page first. And so these are all just variables that you can look up in the Hugo documentation. But if you're a little bit unsure, the best thing to do is just look at some existing Hugo themes. They all have the source code available in the Hugo themes directory. So if you want to see how they do it, what I do is I just look at the source code and you can kind of borrow some of their functionality just by looking at their source code. And so this long function is doing it, is just getting the RSS feeds. Some of this is better to just copy and paste because, I don't know, you're not really going to remember to type all this out. It's not exactly convenient. But anyway, that's the partials. And so let me go back to the default templates. Let me go to underscore default. And let's get this list.html. And this has the same basic structure as the other one. So the partial header.html is bringing in the header. The footer is bringing in the footer. And then we have the title and the content. What we're doing here is we're going to loop over all the pages inside this posts folder. So inside the content folder, I have all of the posts uh, inside this posts folder. And so for each list, it'll, ha it'll just get all of the pages inside that directory. And so for each one, we're just printing out the title, uh, the date time. And what we're doing is we're just getting the date here, which is which you get from the page variable and then formatting it like I showed you with the previous function. And then once the range is finished, then we just end the loop. OK, so that's all pretty basic. So we now have all of our basic templates here for the single and for the list as well. So uh, one other thing that you probably like to add is the index.html. That's going to be inside the layouts folder. And that's just going to be for the home page. So if you want something different for your home page, let's say you want you probably want some extra content on your home page that you're not going to have on the normal pages. So you can put that all in here. Right now it's just exactly the same as uh, the single page, except without the title. So that's the only difference I've done here. And of course you can also add the 404 page here. That's nothing special which you can see by going to 404.html. All right, so that's the basics of it. But for some templates, you might want to get more specific. Like, let's say I want a custom about page that's different from the other ones. So what you would do is you create a new folder for each of the ones that you want. So let's say I want to create an about directory. And so inside this about directory, Okay, so I'm going to create a new file called single.html. Put this in here. Let's say I'll just paste in the basics. But instead of the title, I want to say all about me. Okay, so I saved that. And it's not really taking effect yet. So with these custom templates, what you have to do is let's go out of here, back into our main directory, and let's go into our content and open up the about page. So it's about slash index.md. And of course, we have this right here. But if we want to change the layout, then we put in type. And then let's say about. Save that. And now it's updated with the new template. So this will apply just to this page because we put in this type about. So it's looking for uh, the about directory inside your layouts. So we can do the same if we have a custom post type. So let's say in addition to this post right here, I had a post type called podcasts and I put my first podcast in here. Here's a podcast if I had one. So what you can do if you want to change uh, the template for this one, let's go back into our themes slash layouts. And what you do here is you create a new directory called podcasts. And as you can probably imagine, you create a new page in here called single.html. And this is going to, this is going to overwrite uh, everything inside this podcasts folder, inside this podcast directory. So let's say uh, I wanted to add a little call to action down here. Uh, so 
subscribe to my podcast. Save that. And now all of these inside this podcast directory are going to have this little text right here, but none of these in the post directory are going to have these. So that's useful if you want to have uh, di different parts of your website that don't all share the exact same template. And of course, we can also change the list here too. Like if we wanted to create uh, a list page that was different from this page, we could do the same. Let me go to this podcast page. Okay, so I'm gonna create a new file called list.html. Copy this in here. And then let's just add something else in here. Subscribe to my podcast. And now we can save that. And this is going to be inside every list inside the podcast directory, but it's not going to affect anything else like this posts. So that's basically all there is to templating. But if you want to add in a CSS file or a JavaScript file, it's recommended to put it in this uh, static folder right here. So everything inside the static folder is going to be copied to the build folder as is. It's not going to go through any processing by Hugo is just going to copy and paste this into the final build of the website. So of course we can put in CSS here or JavaScript. I have a CSS folder here and uh, just all, all the styles for this website right here are inside here. And if you look back in my themes uh, inside the partials header, And then you can see that we get our CSS just by going to slash CSS slash style.css because it's in the main directory whenever you build your website. So that's going to work correctly. And yeah, you would do the same with any JavaScript or anything else that you wanted to add in there. So that's the basics of Hugo templating. And that's how you can build your own site or just kind of tweak around with somebody else's theme if you're not quite happy with everything they have.